Sex has many benefits. The gene shuffling that occurs during sexual reproduction generates valuable genetic variation. In this video, we will explore an additional genetic benefit of sexual reproduction, removal of mutations. You have probably heard the phrase, survival of the fittest, while learning about natural selection. However, natural selection does not only act on survival. Selection on reproductive traits and behaviors is very common and is called sexual selection. There are two main tenets of sexual selection, female choice and male competition. Compared to males, females typically invest a disproportionately large amount of time and energy in developing and caring for offspring. Females also typically have access to many willing sexual partners. To ensure that their time and energy is not wasted, females choose to mate only with the fittest males. Knowing that females will only mate with a select few males, the males engage in competition for female attention. From fancy sexual displays to mesmerizing mating calls, the attraction of a female is the male's ultimate goal. Two important types of male competition are direct combat and sperm competition. In direct combat, males physically battle for the right to mate with a female. In some species, females may mate with multiple males during a single reproductive cycle. When this occurs, sperm from different males must compete for access to eggs. Males have developed a variety of strategies to increase the probability that their sperm will fertilize the female's eggs, including increased volume of ejaculate in the presence of competing males. Quality of sexually selected traits depend on the health and fitness of the individual. Because health and fitness are affected by a large number of genes distributed widely across the genome, there is a high probability that any spontaneous deleterious mutations that occur will negatively affect sexually selected traits. Because males with lower quality sexually selected traits do not typically gain female attention or win competition, it is believed that sexual selection may eliminate mutations in a population. Almbro and Simmons put this idea to the test using the horn dung beetle Onthophagus taurus. These beetles engage in direct combat and sperm competition. Horned major beetles use their horns to battle for access to a female's breeding tunnel. The main trait affecting the outcome of the battle is strength. Another important male beetle trait is testes size, which determines ejaculate volume and therefore influences sperm competition. In this study, strength and testes size were measured in response to induced mutation and several rounds of sexual selection. This allowed the experimenters to assess the ability of sexual selection to purge deleterious mutations from the beetle population. To do this, Ombro and Simmons first separated 1,400 beetles by sex. A mutation load was then induced in half of the males using a low dose of gamma radiation. Because the study focused on the role of female choice in removing mutations, females were not exposed to radiation. Irradiated males were mated with half of the females, producing offspring that were heterozygous for ionization-induced mutations. Non-irradiated males were mated with the remaining group of females to produce control offspring free of induced mutations. Each group was then split in half, and halves were subject to different experimental evolutionary paths, enforced monogamy, or sexual selection. In the enforced monogamy path, mating took place between 60 female beetles and a single male. With only one male present, male competition and female choice were absent. In contrast, the sexual selection path allowed mating to take place between groups of 10 females and 10 males. In this path, females were free to choose the fittest males, and males competed for mates. This experimental evolution process was then repeated, and males from each generation were sampled for testes size and strength. To measure strength, a male beetle was placed in an inclined tube, and a small bag was placed on his back. Water was then slowly dripped into the bag until the beetle could no longer hold the weight and fell down the tube. The final weight of the bag plus the water was measured and recorded as the beetle's strength. So, what did they find? As a result of ionizing radiation, mutations were induced in male dung beetles. These mutations caused decreased strength and testes size in the irradiated parental generation. This figure shows that following two generations of sexual selection, the strength of males in populations with induced mutations was almost restored to that of males in the control populations, indicating that sexual selection was able to successfully purge many mutations affecting male strength. Although populations subjected to sexual selection tended to have larger testes, as indicated in Figure 2, this difference was not statistically significant, and sexual selection had no significant impact on removing mutations that reduced testes mass. Further experimentation with more filial generations of sexual selection may be needed for increased statistical support. In conclusion, this experiment suggests that sexually selected traits are highly vulnerable to mutation. However, when spontaneous mutation occurs in genes affecting these traits, sexual selection can be highly effective in removing them. This is one of the many benefits of sex. Created using Powtoon.